the Right Honourable Speaker of Ghana's Parliament, Chairman of the Public Accounts Committee of Ghana's Parliament, Dr. James Kluge Aveji, the Global President, the Board Chair of IIA Global, distinguished invited guests, the President of the Institute of Chartered Accountant Ghana, the Country Representative of Deloitte and Twitch, all protocols observed. I welcome you all to Ghana, the home of true African hospitality. And I thank the IIA Ghana for inviting us to this event. The theme, sustaining through innovation, for this year's conference resonates with our vision as a country of injecting professionalism in internal audit practice in Ghana. Through restructuring and repositioning the internal audit agency and the Institute of Internal Auditors. For those of you who attended the opening ceremony of the Governance Forum on Monday, I indicated that the Institute of Internal Auditors Ghana and the Internal Audit Agency have been collaborating over the years to deepen internal audit practice in Ghana. Their collaboration has chalked a lot of successes culminating in Ghana hosting this year's AFIA. As the public and private sectors identify ways of improving service delivery and increasing the bottom line through innovation, it is not uncommon for internal auditors to be left out or completely relegated to the background. This is often seen in areas where internal auditors are brought into the picture after the harm has been caused. However, since in strategic management, blaming someone is being wise after the fact, I encourage leaders, boards, and management to rely on the preventive roles of internal auditors for prompt assurance and advisory services. Reliance on internal auditors along the entire managerial chain and the PFM cycle is critical. To be able to secure this in the hearts and minds of boards, management, and other professional colleagues, internal auditors gathered here, I advise that we apply innovative ways beyond our call of duty to provide the required advisory services. Colleagues, as we participate in this conference, let us commit to innovate our approaches to work and appreciate contemporary global requirements of our profession through personal development, training, continuous capacity building offered by the various IIA chapters across the world. Let us demonstrate professionalism through competence, integrity, to adequately support boards in all forms so that together we'll be able to stop corruption and the irregularities we see in our countries. As professionals, irrespective of our fields, whether as auditors, accountants, administrators, engineers, let us through technological innovation impact positively wherever we find ourselves. And in Ghana, we have currently initiated major legislative and policy reforms to restructure the internal audit practice to ensure that we add value to public sector administration. Principally, we are emphasizing in five key areas. We've taken measures to improve revenue mobilization and automation of the entire public financial management cycle. We are working to restructure the internal audit agency. We are strengthening the internal audit function through effective collaboration with the Institute of Internal Auditors Ghana. We are undertaking expenditure commitment and procurement control measures, and we are also enforcing sanctions under the Public Financial Management Act. I believe our brothers and sisters from other countries gathered here would have a lot to learn from us as we also learn from you. Right Honourable Speaker and members on the high table, permit me to walk participants through a number of key initiatives we have initiated as Ghana 
to reposition internal audit practice in Ghana. As I indicated, we have initiated legislative reforms to review internal audit laws in Ghana. We have also set up statutory audit committees for all public sector institutions. We have also signaled a national adoption of the IPPF issued by the IIA Global. And we are working along the way with the internal Institute of Internal Auditors Ghana to present a country position on the exposure draft as we prepare to nationally adopt the proposed global internal auditing standards once it is finalized. We are moving away from conventional pre-auditing to a full-scale risk-based auditing. We are encouraging mainstreaming of enterprise risk management in the operations of the entire public sector institutions. We are automating internal audit practice through the acquisition of an end-to-end -end -end audit management information systems. And we are working with our controller and accountant general's department to open up the Ghana integrated financial management information systems to allow our internal auditors to have access to the system to stop irregular transaction before it occurs. We are mainstreaming performance auditing into the operations of public sector institutions. And we are strengthening institutional collaborations with the IIA Ghana, the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana, and other allied institutions. We are also promoting information systems audits and efficient data analytics processes within the public sector of Ghana. As I conclude, right honorable speaker, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot do all of these without working closely with the Institute of Internal Auditors Ghana and Global. I therefore advise the IIA, both in Ghana and Global, to deepen collaboration with the various agencies in their countries of operations. My institution believes in the IAA's progress through sharing as we work together to ensure effective internal audits in institutions in Ghana. Our doors are open for further discussions on innovative approaches for improving internal audit practice and governance in our respective countries. Welcome to Ghana once again, and please enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Udru Sai, for such insightful remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, before I invite the chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, we want to recognize the presence of Honorable Kufi Otri Ajekum, MP for Fantia Pass South constituency, and a ranking member of the Public Accounts Committee. Honorable. We also want to recognize the presence of the pre president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana, in the person of Ms. Sana Dake. Thank you very much. 